Well, new tonight at 11, a call to action in Philadelphia is heard all around the world. Firefighters asked you to help them fulfill a little boy's dream, and my goodness, so many of you came through. Mm -hmm. Eyewitness News reporter Alexandria Hoff shows you how. Two weeks ago, we met 10 year old Evan Potter inside of his Bridesburg home. It's been like kind of like weird and like hard not having him there. He lost his firefighter father, Michael Potter, suddenly in 2016. His Christmas wish this year was to start a collection of fire company patches like his dad had done. I'm trying to fill this all up. Unknown to Evan, Philadelphia's engine 33 was already on the job. In fact, fireman Charles Skrilla was the one who called us. I knew this was going to happen because this is how firemen are. That original story first aired on November 27th, and since that plea for patches was made, well, look at this. Says he wanted a couple patches. This is good. I mean, like I said, this is one bin, and there's a whole nother bin there full, another bin in there. Thousands of patches for Evan have poured into Engine 33 from towns and cities in every single U.S. state and from countries including Germany, Ireland, France, even Tasmania. He's an honorary firefighter in Massachusetts now. And hear this. Evan's mom says he hasn't seen the news. His friends have been directed not to say a word, and Evan has no clue about this massive response. Everybody, as you can see, uh, just opened up their hearts and uh, took this little guy under their wing. And the patches and gifts will be delivered to Evan on a fire truck on Christmas Eve. And until then, a heartfelt and worldwide thank you. Alexandria Hoff, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Can't wait until he sees it. It is so incredible. Oh, that's great. That's just fantastic. Around the world, you just feel the love. Uh, that's right.